Hey guys, it's TNN. We've got another video from Chipex. So they have gone ahead and sent me another new Chipex paint repair system kit. Uh, but this time we're going to be uh, doing it on a car that is like a pearl, like a metallic pearl white. Bit of a glittery look to it. So it's a DS3 uh, Crossback Performance line. It's the white colour one. And we're going to be doing the repair on that one today. So let's see what comes inside this kit. Boom, just like that. So let's see what we have inside of this kit here. So we have got uh, microfiber cloth with gloves, just like the kit we had previously. If you haven't seen the video previously, I'll link it down below in the description. We've also got two of these microfiber cloths and uh, little touch-up paint sticks. And then we've got another one here, but one has the uh, block with it, the blending block. We then got a step one paint over here, which is like a white base coat. It's literally just pure white paint. Uh, no metallic look to it, no pearl look, no glittery look. So this is your step one of the paint then we have this little one over here which is a more glittery pearly look step two of the paint so you can see over here second step then we've got a blending solution just like before and also the chipex polish just like before which is the last step so let's go ahead and let's carry out the repair on this ds3 crossback so first things first you want to put on your gloves which we'll be going ahead and doing that now and then you want to clean the uh, affected area. So we got these three little marks here. So I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave one of these marks for a TikTok video, and we're going to fix these two today. And that one there, I'm going to leave for my TikTok video as well. So let's go ahead and let's repair these two marks. So you can see it here. And go ahead and clean the affected area first. That is the first thing to do. Then the next thing to do will be step one. Uh, step one will be the next thing to do, which is the paint. So you can see here, it's already got um, some layer. It looks like it just took off the top layer, which is like the glossy layer. Uh, but we're going to build it up anyway. So we're going to add some of this paint here. So we're going to shake this really well. And then we'll use the paint stick and we'll dab into it and we'll build up the layers of paint. So give it a bit of time. Shake it for a little while. Make sure it's shaking really well. Uh, again, sorry if there's any noise in the background. I am on the street, so there's a lot of cars driving by. It's quite a busy street as well, so... Let's go ahead and keep shaking it. Now we use our little paint stick, dab a little bit in here and then we'll dab it on top just to build up that layer. And then what we'll use is we'll use the blending solution and the blending block. So we'll give it a few minutes to dry, then use the blending solution, blending block, we'll scrub on it, flatten it down and we'll keep building up layers and we'll just keep repeating this process until we're happy with it. So let's go ahead and do that. Lovely, so we've got some paint here. Let's go ahead and let's build it up. Add a little dab on it. This one here is a little bit deeper, so we want to just fill that in nicely. And then what I like to do is, uh, with one of my fingers, my pinky, just push down on it. Just push down on it. And then we'll let that dry, and then we'll add another layer, and we'll just keep doing that until we're happy with this. And then we'll get the blending block and start rubbing it down. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll give it a few minutes to dry. Right, so we're giving that a few minutes to dry. We've got the blending block here and the blending cloth. What we'll do is we'll put this block right underneath the cloth like that so you can get a nice flat surface and then we'll put the blending solution on top of this and then we basically lightly rub. We don't push forcefully, very lightly just rub on the paint and then we'll just keep doing that again and again until we're happy with the result. So here we have a couple dabs of the blending solution. We'll just go ahead and we'll lightly rub on this. Just like so. Like that. So we took off any excess paint. And then what we do is we add on some more paint again and we'll build this up again until we're happy with it being nice flush and level and then we'll add the second paint coat which is the little metallic pearlescent type uh, paint so we'll go ahead and do that now so we'll add this up do this a couple times and then we'll add the final coat right so i am now quite happy with it you can barely see it already so it's this one and that one there we're now going to add the final coating on there which is the pearlescent style uh, the metallic look we're going to give it the actual pearly metallic look that this car is really known and the paintwork on this car is actually really beautiful it's a really nice white uh, it's like a pearly white and it looks super nice so we're going to add this on it now and we're going to again use the same method so probably a couple coats of this and again use the blending solution to rub it down until we're really happy with the, the finished outcome so let's go ahead and do that so with a new uh, clean stick uh, touch up stick we're going to then add a couple of coats of this on there and again the same method that we used previously Dab that on there, nice half layer, and then push it with our finger again. And then let that to dry, and then again use the blending block, rub on it, 
and then so on and so on really. So it's the same method we're going to use uh, for the final coating as well, so let's go ahead and do that. Now you can see here I've added the two blobs of the pearlescent paint. Now it's really difficult to work with pearlescent paint, so you just got to be patient. Just keep adding those layers, keep trying it again and again. And obviously it's not going to 100% disappear, but it will really, really blend in so well that you can't even notice that there was a stone chip there unless you point it out. And that's the whole point of stone chip repairs. So it's not going to 100% disappear, but it will disappear enough that you can't even notice it. So that's our aim here. So that's what we're going to try and do. So just be patient with it, it's quite difficult and just slowly, slowly add on layer by layer and eventually it will go and go until you're happy with the outcome, so let's keep on doing it. And that right there is a result that I am actually quite happy with, so that is the one that I left, that's what it looked like before, and I can't even see where, it, this one and this one here are the ones that I repaired, and you can barely notice it now, look at that, look how much that one stands out and how the others don't. And that's basically what we're trying to achieve here, and simple as that is what we've done. And the Chip-X kit worked really well for that, and you can see, even with a pearlescent paint, that's so difficult to repair, it's pretty much gone. You can't even tell anymore. So yeah, we're going to try and carry out a bigger repair. Um, I'm just going to show a quick before and after. We're going to use the exact same method for this big repair as well. So let's go and do that. Of course, I forgot the last final main step as well, which is the... Uh the actual chip X polished last step so um, I've gone ahead and carried out the repair to the other piece as well as you can see you can barely see it now uh, we're going to apply a little bit of polish on the cloth that was given like this and I can't even find where I've done the repair now you can barely see it it was here there it is it's right there so go ahead and we'll just polish this area up and that is the final step so we're done and look at that, you can't even see it, it's all gone, even the other one that was there, I carried out the repair on that one and that's all gone now as well, so there you go. So now let's go ahead and let's carry out the repair on the big thing, so again we're going to use the same method uh, on the big deeper scratch, uh, a lot more larger, again same method, we're going to take our time, we're going to keep doing it, keep building it up and we'll see how we get on and uh, yeah we'll just see before and after for that one, so let's go ahead and do that. So you can see uh, this damage here is a lot more deeper, it's a lot more bigger and uh, we're going to carry out the same method of repair that we just did on the stone chips. So again it's not going to be 100% gone but it's trying to minimise the amount you see, that's what Chip-X is trying to do here uh, with this paint repair. So um, no paint repair will be fully gone, uh, you have to do a whole paint job to get it for completely gone uh, but we're just trying to do a repair just to get rid of it so it's less noticeable. So yeah let's see how we get on, we're going to use the same method of repair that we just did and uh, yeah, let's see how it looks. So it looks a lot better, it is very deep, um, so it's a lot less noticeable. Um, I feel like if I spent a few more hours, I'll spend an hour on this, but if I spend a couple more hours on it, I reckon I can completely get rid of it. Um, but it looks a lot better, it's very, very minimally um, noticeable now, especially when the door's closed, uh, you don't really notice it anymore. Uh, this one's here a lot more deeper, so they probably need a little bit more coating on there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really good. Um, so I have to say Chipex uh, done a great job again, uh, if you're interested in purchasing it, link to buy will be down below in the description, and as always don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, and thank you Chipex for sending out this kit for us to use, and uh, yeah, I have to say, it's really good, 10 out of 10. As always, thanks for watching.